Hello everyone, this is MC Adventure City, and welcome to episode 7 of MC Adventure City's Modded Let's Play series, season 3. Today, as, as I've been planning to for like 3 episodes now, we're going to go to the nether. That's cool. I can actually close the gates. As you can see, I've expanded my base a bit to include a portal room, as well as kind of a gateway to future machine rooms dedicated to different mods and stuff. Because I'll probably have one room this way, one room this way, and stuff like that, yeah. And probably in the center I'll have our gigantic blood magic room. Whenever we get into that. Probably not for another ten episodes at least. But yeah. I'm a bit nervous here, but um... I'm gonna make sure we have more food. Go ahead and get eight, 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 eight more toast. And then smelting up the toast. So yeah, just so we have enough food for our nether trip. I'll dump out our extra stuff that we don't need, like uh, our wood, our dirt. I'll keep these foods. I'll keep the satchel. Dump out the chisel and the sickle. I need those in the nether. Neither do we need that. And then I need... What I do need, though, is some cobblestone. Which I can get out of here. we get two stacks. Two stacks of cobble should be good to get started on our nether adventure. And then we have to go ahead and Bowl. Not. I don't even know why I'm reading that. But, uh, whatever. I'm just going to also toss out this extra ruby pick. I don't need that right now. All you might pick, I'll take with me. So I can mine cobalt and ardite. That's one of the main reasons why I'm going to the Nether. Also to get things like glowstone and stuff, and maybe even some blaze powder. Blaze powder, though? I'm honestly not sure. What was I gonna make that needed blaze powder? I forget. I totally forget. Wow. But yeah, um... I will be back when we are in the nether. And we are back. We are in the nether. Where it is apparently considered night at 5 p.m. Now we're in a cave, which is actually a pretty good nether spawn. But granted, and we have this stuff from ore spawn lava foam. It's really slippery. Cobalt right off the bat. No art right now.
That's one of those hellfish blocks. And we are back. I fully will not mess up this time. You know, I'm not going to worry about that, honestly. I did get some artite as well that I found while I'm digging that little mine right there. Not again! Okay, I finished digging out a strip mine to the main nether area. And there's lava here, obviously, because it's the nether. And, uh, and then there's glowstone, which is another thing that I've been looking for. That, well, it, this glowstone is going to be pretty hard to get because it is hanging above lava. So I'll leave it alone and see if I can find a better located glowstone. No, nothing there. We can find anything in a different direction. Like I don't know where the main cave is for the nether. But I don't see anything. It's probably because we're pretty high up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna minus. I don't run into any more lava. My work, I will. I don't know what this mosquito plant is. There's some gloves down <laughs> in a pretty easy to access location. It's like vein miner's completely broken. Let's take a look at our controls.
I'll use this because I know Tinker's tools make it faster to break gloves down. So yeah, there we go. We have gotten all the gloves down here. do I need him? I don't think these spawn dirt slimes. <laughs> Although I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure they don't, because dirt slimes are an ender zoo thing, and an ender zoo doesn't probably... I mean... The nitro creeper. Wait, is there, did, was there another one? Oh, it triggered the sulfur. Oh, that's what it was. It blowing up one piece of sulfur made the rest of the sulfur get triggered. <laughs> but whatever. Um, there's our little nether exploration so far. And I hear a ghast. Let's. Oh, that's broken and it's taking forever to dissipate. Well, it won't make a difference because there's nothing over there. digging down this way.
encountered the main nether cave. Oh crap, the giant is stuck there. spawn out of that one apparently so but um yeah there's another fortress right there too that's cool But yeah, um, I'll probably go ahead, cut off, I mean we've, well, I want to get manual and tools, so let's find some co more cobalt and artite. I was about to say, what is there to do in here right now? Well, there's plenty to do, as long as I don't get bombarded. It could very well happen though, if I blazes, although I do have good armor. Wither skeleton. What does this have on it? Pain of arthropods. No wonder it killed that heat scar spider so fast. Oh, we have to smite for this guy. Get back to our primary objective of getting plenty of cobalt and ardite. I remember on my personal world, on this instance, I had I have Project E working already. Even though, yeah, I could technically set up Project E as soon as I killed the Wither on this game. Although I'm probably not going to do that. Because we decided that was a change I made just for the Let's Play. Change I made made to the instance. Oh wow, that would be a long fall. That would be a long fall if I fell down there. Uh, I don't want to fall down there. <laughs> Cobalt and Ardite. Boneyard. This little heap. Like the, um, 
like the one that has the flame, this one. So it has these blocks, Smoldering Grass, Phantasmagoric Inferno, he has a pretty big word, Phantasmagoric Inferno. <laughs> but anyways, I'm... Why is this guy attacking me? Did I break his oars? No. Did I kill him? He just attacked me for no reason. I'm pretty sure I don't have that config option. On. For zombie pigman to attack for no fucking reason. But anyways, honestly, I'll take a break until I come, and I'll come, when I come back, we should have more Cobalt and Ardite. So be back in a bit. And we are back. I have all the, I got all the Cobalt and Ardite. I already alloyed it into manual and off camera, but I'm, I haven't poured it into tools yet. Because there's one more thing I want to do this episode first. You'll be wondering, why, why am I breaking my tool station? You'll see in just a second here. It's a key component of more advanced levels of Tinker's Construct. And advanced modded Minecraft users will already recognize this. The Tool Forge, which strangely enough can be made out of any metal block in 1.7.10, but oh, I'm pretty sure it's only in 1.7.10 that you can do that. I don't even know if you can do it in 1.10. I haven't checked, but whatever. It doesn't really matter um, to me. Because iron isn't that hard to come by. At the time I made the, that copper, I didn't have enough. But I'm probably going to get a good... Uh, not a sword, but maybe a sword, honestly. Should I make a broad sword or a long sword is the question, though. Long sword has a, a bit... Um, yeah, I'll probably go with the broad sword, because it's not much of a durability change. So, yeah, let me sleep real quick. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to make some more toast as well, because you can never have enough toast and I've almost run out. So, wait, what? How did that get trampled? None of my other crops. One of my carrots got trampled too. What the? happen? Maybe some mob, like a zombie or something, walked on it. Whatever. Probably happened off camera, so none of you could point back to my previous episodes and say, oh, it was at such and such time a zombie walked on your crops. But whatever, I'm going to go ahead and make a binding, our binding out of paper. Are there any more? Do we have any more plank pattern in here? No. Ah. Interesting. Apparently we don't have any blank patterns left. <laughs> Whatever. Eight should be good. Apparently I didn't get the achievement for that before. So what I'm also going to need now is a sword blade, a uh, wide guard, and that's it, really. I'm going to have to make the cast for the sword blade, so yeah. I am going to make advanced tools like the hammer later on, but Tool binding, wide guard, sword blade, shovel head, pickaxe. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make. All I really need to do is make a sword blade cast first. And then I need 
to pour one of these. Now the sword blade itself I can dump out in the ocean like pretty much everything else. So it's pollution, but it despawns. Don't try this at home, kids. <laughs> Despawning only works in Minecraft. <laughs> Unless, it's, of course, it's an organic material, after which time it will decompose, but whatever. Don't just throw random stuff into the ocean. It's bad. But then I'm going to need to get our... Pickaxe first. Well, first, I'm going to need to get. Uh, I'm going to make the tool rods out of manual in as well, just because it's the best for the handle modifier. You know, I'll go ahead and make my wide guard. Now, even though I have this amazing sword, uh, I'm going to pick a Tinker's one for now and, and favor it until I have to fight or spawn mobs. Because there's, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna need two tool rods. Okay, there we go. Next, I need one pickaxe head. And one sword head. I can go ahead and toss out my pickaxe and tool rod cast. I'll leave that manual in the smeltery for now. But now, I can go ahead and get, first off I'll get our pickaxe, but yeah, Let's see how good this pickaxe is. 3,000 durability. Oh yeah. Mining speed 9, modified mining speed 4. I'm going to get a couple achievements here. Go. 3,600 durability. Here we go. But next, uh, probably start modifying is the best thing to do. Probably with my pickaxe, I'll put some fortune, which is made from lapis. And some haste. So, yeah. We should probably compress this into blocks first. Go ahead and put a 63 on each. Or not on each, but ten point four four, eleven point eight eight. Oh, what? Oh, yeah. I need to fill up that one perfectly, which is before I can use the next modifier. Mine speed 13. You know, um, should I do this? Yeah. I'll go ahead and put the lapis on here first.
luck. There we go, and then I'll, and now I'll put the reds down on there. See how good this pickaxe is. By just mining random stuff, I guess. First off, I'm going to have to dump out all this because it's clogging up my inventory. So there's where my blank patterns were. I did have some more blank patterns, but whatever. It is somewhat fast. It could be faster, though. Yeah, it's a pretty good pickaxe. With a lot of durability. 3,000. And the sword has 3,600. And this should do me a good substitute, which I'm trying to avoid using the overpowered sword. Now, and especially now that I have this. And, uh... Yeah. But when I will use the overpowered sword is when I start getting into ore spawns progression which is mainly just a lot of mining at first to get to the ultimate set but after that it's a lot of boss fighting so what I'm gonna do is probably work on some more tech and hopefully make some progress I wanna have a quarry set up by say episode 20 just a basic probably RF tools quarry Maybe even a build craft quarry. But yeah. Thank you for watching. I know not much happened except for me dying in the nether repeatedly and getting a man manual instead of tools. But next episode, I will hopefully make some more progress. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!